The strategies of the two sides are at odds. The Soviets want war reparations. The three Western allies do not. The Soviets covertly strip East Germany of tools and machinery. The United States includes West Germany in the Marshall Plan, which provides funding for rebuilding the shattered German state. The Soviets try to turn East Germany into a showplace for their ideas about a planned, centralized economy. The United States encourages capitalism and the free market. Pressure on the Soviets increases when the United States promotes the Truman Doctrine, declaring that Americans will give aid and support to free peoples being pressured or dominated by armed minorities or outside pressures. Stalin begins to squeeze. He encircles West Berlin with troops, shuts off all access by land and water, and demands that the other powers withdraw their troops. Nothing goes in or out of West Berlin. The Soviets are determined to starve out the West by blockading the city. The Allies respond with one of the greatest humanitarian efforts known to man, the Berlin Airlift. When the Soviets blocked the accommodation ways to Berlin so that no food could reach the population, the Allies put up an airlift. A plane landed every third minute and brought food to the city. Over 275,000 Allied flights cut a path to Berlin, running supplies 24 hours a day. Life in West Berlin is still tough, but it is now possible to survive. 